There are no lights. Uh, there's no electricity. There is no cell service. The the only reason that we're able to, you're able to see us right now is because of a Starlink uh, connection that we just got today. That's the only reason we're able to hear and communicate with you guys right now because there's absolutely no cell service at all in this whole area. Imagine the embarrassment of trying to restrict SpaceX's rocket launches on the West Coast, only to discover that those very launches are crucial for saving your homeland. This might be the current sentiment of the California Coastal Commission and environmentalists. The recent catastrophic fires in Los Angeles have starkly highlighted the bullshit of environmental policies under Governor Gavin Newsom's administration in disaster management. Meanwhile, innovators like SpaceX are stepping up, with initiatives such as the Starlink Internet Service proving vital in emergency situations. Join us as we explore everything in today's episode. Anyway, our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. Los Angeles has been on fire recently when dry conditions and powerful winds sparked at least five fires, causing unprecedented devastation. At the time I made this report, at least 11 people had died across the Los Angeles area in the wildfires. Thousands of structures have been destroyed, and roughly 180,000 people have been forced from their homes. Officials had said the true death toll was not known as the fires continue to burn. The disaster led to connectivity outages, hindering live updates from the fire-stricken areas. Thankfully, with Starlink support, a journalist on site managed to provide real-time coverage despite the network blackouts. Starlink is the name of a satellite network developed by the private spaceflight company SpaceX to provide low-cost internet to remote locations. In comparison to traditional broadband options, Starlink offers lower latency, which is the time it takes for data to travel between your device and the internet. Its satellites are positioned about 350 miles above Earth, much closer than traditional satellites that orbit at around 22,000 miles. This shorter distance allows signals to travel faster, resulting in latencies similar to cable internet. As a result, Starlink is ideal for online gaming and video conferencing, where quick communication is essential for a smooth experience. For the disaster response activity, Starlink can provide reliable communication in affected areas where traditional infrastructure might be damaged or destroyed. During the recent wildfires in Southern California, Starlink enabled basic texting, including emergency texts, to 911, which helps in maintaining contact with loved ones and receiving critical alerts. This was highlighted in a post by SpaceX on X, where they announced that Starlink and T-Mobile had enabled this service in Los Angeles improving disaster management by ensuring connectivity during emergencies. More importantly, all of this is free, which was confirmed by SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, on Wednesday, January 8th, the day after the fire began. Frankly, the military has long recognized the essential role of Starlink in providing critical communications during natural disasters. This aligns with the interests of the Space Force, which is advocating for increased SpaceX rocket launches at Vandenberg Air Force Base. However, this initiative faces challenges from the California Coastal Commission and environmental groups. Following recent wildfire incidents in Los Angeles, hopefully there may be a shift in perspective among officials. Back to the recent matter, many users X expressed their endless gratitude for Elon's kindness in helping the vulnerable residents in the disaster zone. This situation contrasts sharply with California Governor Gavin Newsom, who has faced significant criticism from President Trump for his lack of preparedness for such disasters over the years. Trump pointed out that Newsom declined to sign a water restoration declaration that would have allowed millions of gallons of water from Northern California to flow into drought-stricken areas, including those currently engulfed in flames. Trump added, he wanted to protect an essentially worthless fish called a smelt by giving it less water. It didn't work, but didn't care about the people of California. 
Trump also highlighted how policies regarding this endangered fish have contributed to water supply issues for firefighters battling the blazes, which have caused hydrants and water tanks to run dry due to overwhelming demand. This is not the first time Gavin Newsom has been in the hot water over his controversial policies. Under his administration, the Golden State had deteriorated from the land of opportunity to the land of sort of over-regulation, over-litigation, over-taxation. This sentiment is echoed by Elon Musk, who previously viewed California as an ideal environment for business growth and had strong ties with Democratic leaders in the state. SpaceX's first headquarters in California were in a warehouse in El Segundo. The company took over an abandoned aerospace building in L.A. County and turned it into the highest volume rocket producer in the world. Afterward, the company's employees have founded more than 50 startups, making an ecosystem that has sprung up around SpaceX. This contributes to bringing California's glory days of the aerospace industry back. On the other hand, the tech tycoon enjoyed a number of tax breaks and incentives over the years, including more than $3.2 billion in direct and indirect California subsidies and favorable tweaks to market mechanisms since 2009. But everything gets worse over the years as Musk becomes increasingly critical of the state's regulations and policies. At the peak, he announced the relocation of his company's headquarters from California to Texas, including Tesla, SpaceX, and X. Especially, the decision of SpaceX's headquarters was influenced by Newsom's signing of legislation aimed at protecting LGBTQ students, which Musk viewed as an infringement on parental rights. In response, California Governor Gavin Newsom has scoffed at the SpaceX move as logistically untenable and mocked Musk for having bent the knee to Trump. You bent the knee, Newsom posted on X, along with a screenshot of a 2022 post from former President Trump criticizing the billionaire. Elon Musk angrily replied, you never get off your knees. Despite their disagreements, there have been moments of unexpected alignment. For instance, Newsom supported Musk in a dispute with the California Coastal Commission over SpaceX's rocket launch permits, stating, I'm with Elon. Anyway, Elon's decision to focus on Texas is highly estimated as a brilliant decision amid California's state of deterioration. Meanwhile, the Lone Star State is on the path to totally overshadowing the rest of the U.S., and the facts back it up. While it may not be the largest state by land or population, Texas ranks near the top in various metrics that highlight its significance. Texas has emerged as an economic powerhouse boasting the second-largest economy in the United States, with a gross domestic product, GDP, of approximately $2.6 trillion in 2023, which accounts for 9.37% of the national GDP. If Texas were an independent nation, it would rank as the eighth-largest economy in the world, surpassing countries like Canada and Russia. So how has Texas become an economic powerhouse in its own right? competing for the title of the U.S.'s most powerful state. Texas is a diverse economic landscape, featuring several major business hubs, each with distinct strengths. Austin stands out as the new Silicon Valley, boasting a vibrant technology sector that attracted over $5.5 billion in venture capital in 2021 and hosting major companies like Tesla, Apple, and Dell. Just a stone's throw away, Dallas serves as the state's financial powerhouse, attracting numerous Fortune 500 companies and establishing itself as an international financial center with a strong banking sector and diverse commerce. Meanwhile, Houston is recognized globally as the energy capital of the world, home to a large concentration of oil and gas companies that make it a vital player in both national and international markets. Lastly, San Antonio offers a unique blend of strengths, including a robust military presence, significant tourist appeal, and a rapidly expanding cybersecurity sector that supports growth across various industries. Together, these cities create a dynamic environment for businesses and entrepreneurs, solidifying Texas's reputation as a leading state for economic opportunity and innovation. 
Texas attracts business due to its lack of state income and capital gains taxes, fostering a business-friendly environment. Texas has no personal or corporate state income tax and a reasonable regulatory climate. Chief Executive Magazine has ranked Texas the top one state for business for 20 consecutive years. Amazon, Tesla, HP, and Oracle have all moved to or expanded their operations in Texas. When combined with steady employment and income growth, forecasters rank Texas first in the nation for five-year growth projections. Compared to California's skyrocketing home prices, Texas offers more affordable housing options, contributing to its appeal for new residents. This facilitates Musk's idea for a utopian company town in the Austin suburbs of Bastrop County, which is Snailbrook, Texas. With many of his companies now in the area, Musk's plans envision creating a new town where his employees can live and work. No personal or corporate state income tax, along with a thriving economy, lead to the blooming population rate. Texas has experienced substantial population growth, surpassing California's growth rate over the past decade. Texas population surpassed 31 million people within 2023, as the state added more residents than any other place in the country. Specifically, the Lone Star State added 562,941 residents between July 2023 and July 2024. Census estimates show ahead of Florida and California. That growth brought the state's total population to 31,290,831. With that said, as early as 2023, Estimates from demographers predicted that Texas would surpass California in population by 2050. Texas's growing population has significantly enhanced its political power, as evidenced by the state's current holding of 38 seats in the U.S. House of Representatives and a substantial share of electoral votes. This demographic shift is expected to translate into increased political influence, as more representatives in Congress and additional electoral votes can result from a larger population base. Politics was also one of the main reasons Elon Musk escaped the blue curtain in California after he became Donald Trump's biggest cheerleader, which put him in opposition to California Democratic officials. The influx of residents, particularly from Republican-leaning areas, suggests that Texas may solidify its status as a key player in national politics. Furthermore, the state's changing demographics could lead to a more competitive political landscape in future elections, as urban centers grow and diversify. The relocation of Elon Musk Company's headquarters reflects a broader trend of businesses moving away from California. The exodus of businesses has raised concerns about the long-term economic implications for California, including potential job losses and reduced tax revenue. For example, the state's corporate tax rate has actually declined over the past few decades, with state lawmakers slashing it from 9.6% to 9.3% in 1987, then to its current rate in 1997. More notably, it will directly impact small businesses that have close ties to larger corporations, such as shops or restaurants. Faced with these trends, California officials are exploring measures to improve the business environment and retain companies within the state. Ahmad Thomas, CEO of Silicon Valley Leadership Group, which advocates for big tech companies, said, The challenge we have is the cost of doing business, and operating in California continues to increase. How do we mitigate that? Thomas said, California's competitive advantage continues to be chipped away at year after year by competition that is global. He mentioned that there needs to be more innovative solutions around our cost structure connected to our tax policy, as well as more affordable housing. He wants industry and policymakers to work together to drive down the cost of living here while trying to minimize additional taxes to businesses.